This is the RV Game Changer. In this podcast, we will speak with manufacturing leaders, component suppliers, dealers, subsector innovators, influencers, and industry experts who all believe RVing is good for our environment. It's good for our economy. It's great for our family values and overall well being. With your help, we can improve the RV experience for everyone. Today's episode of RV Game Changer is brought to you by RVing Today TV. If it has anything to do with RVing and camping, you can bet you'll see it on RVing Today TV. Celebrating its 14th year, RVing Today TV is the number one RV and camping lifestyle show in the country. Available on major television stations and sports networks nationwide, as well as various streaming media platforms. Visit RVingToday.tv where you'll find the list of stations and networks carrying the show along with additional stories, news, and contests. Hey everybody, today on RV Game Changer, we have the pleasure of speaking with a gentleman who has built a website and app that makes it very easy to find the campsite you need and when and where you need it. Terry Broussard, CEO and co-founder of Spot Tonight, is a true RV game changer. His company has collaborated with campgrounds and campground services to serve their customers and help campgrounds fill last-minute sites, which may typically go unfilled. But before that, I have a very special announcement. Today on RV Game Changer, we have a new addition to the show. Everybody, welcome Autumn Quinn. Hi! Yeah, Autumn is one of my colleagues at Dylan's RV. I work for Campers in RV. They're a subsidiary, and she's one of these personalities that we just can't get enough of. So we've invited Autumn to be our new co-host on RV Game Changer. Thanks so much for joining us today. And what are you sitting in right now? That's a beautiful coach. Thanks so much for having me. Today, I am sitting in a 2024 Renegade Valencia. Fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us. I look forward to your input on this show. And without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you Mr. Terry Broussard of Spot Tonight. Welcome, Terry. Well, good morning, everybody. And it's certainly uh, great to, to be here, Bernie. And nice meeting you, Autumn. Looking forward to chatting with you as well as we talk about Spot Tonight. All right, before we get too deep into the workings of SPOT tonight, let's talk a little bit about your background prior to this endeavor endeavor, and what led you to develop the company SPOT tonight. Yeah, sure. Be glad to. So uh, unlike what most people think, I did not come from the hotel or RV industry. I am a user, you know, a consumer. We've had uh, four RVs in our family over the course of raising our children uh, I'm an Air Force veteran, retired Air Force, uh, actually a nurse by trade. Thank uh, you for your service. You're so welcome. It was my honor to serve. And we, of course, like to do things outside and go places and take take people and things places, which is why I think RVN fits so well into our lifestyle. And uh, as we grew the family and I uh, got a son-in-law into the family, uh, we were literally leaning against the RV and he said, let's go somewhere. And that question came up when, and it was tonight. And I said, well, it didn't quite work that way. (laughs) And uh, that began the journey to develop Spot Tonight with Sam Bruner, my son-in-law and co-founder. Wow. What an inspiration. That must have just like, it's one of those light bulbs that go off, you know? So were you into tech at all before? I know you were a nurse, but so he was more of the tech-minded person in there? And Yes, well, actually, we had both had a bit of the tech in the back. He's got a, a uh, an extremely strong finance background, and his family had some experience in the Airbnb business. Um, right. Mine, actually being a nurse, obviously a little bit technical, but it, the uh, my opportunities in the Air Force, uh, I retired out of there with a, uh, picked up a, ba- a, a master's in uh public administration information systems concentration because of we were looking through and solving the issues of what caused Gulf War and where were our patients and uh, military veterans going and how they picked it up. So I led a lot of integration efforts along the way and picked up some sense at the Pentagon. Okay, wonderful. Hey, Autumn, did you have a question for Terry? Yes. So when did you start this project? Well, basically started about in 2019, pre-COVID. 
uh, when when we had the aha moment. And then, of course, in a way, it was kind of a blessing while, you know, everybody was locked down and then they were starting to really look hard at camping. And we were playing with the idea. We had some very blessed uh, people on the team that uh, Sam knew along the way. And uh, we presented the problem and said, this is what we're thinking about. And uh, basically, it came down to late one night, call in our first integration partner. Um, I'll call him out, RMS, great partner down in Australia. Oh, wow. You know, giving my credit card number to an Australian speaking uh, team <laughs> over there and getting a developer kit. And we were off to the races. Wow. So did you actually start that integration at that time with, with like a campground group or what was that all about? Or is that the software that you're utilizing to do those integrations? Well, obviously, you know, at first I was thinking, okay, we're going to talk to a lot of campgrounds. And so right. I would talk to all the campground owners and got pretty savvy on, hey, on most of them on the desktop, they're running software that is talking to a central database. There okay. are there are some parks that use sticky pads for reservations. <laughs> and this is not, beneficial. this is the first system. And then maybe this is the second system. It's like a little notepad and they write reservations on and that's, I can't connect to that. So as we got savvy on that, so basically what we do is directly connect to the reservation systems and provide you the traveler with a portal to the same data that the front desk clerk has. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. You know, um, so let's get into, do you mind if we get onto the screen of your website and kind of go over some of the search criteria on how the end user might use that? And But first, let's talk about how you sign up for it. Yeah, sure. So you can actually go all the way through to the booking and quote um, without uh, signing up there. But as you, with any search capability, looking for lodging or an RV spot, you get better results with the more information you give us in the engine. So as right. you can see on the screen, you'll say, okay, where are you going today? And you put in your city and, right. and you can actually, of course, put dates uh, and each filter that you add on there will start to say um, like next next weekend that's going to be a tough one memorial day weekend I'm, I'm putting you on the spot buddy no that's great and and that's a great thing about this because i always tell the park owners they say oh we're always full all the time on those weekends and i say you're 100 percent full that time oh yeah so we'll, we'll see because my dog will hunt this dog will find one empty spot if you wow. got it and it's Look available so, so there you go. 100 results. Okay, I'm done. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what you're seeing here is a regional search out based on Pensacola, Florida, uh, yeah. which is uh, my wife's hometown. So it's just down the road. Oh, there and, you go. Neighbors. And neighbors. And as you're seeing, you're seeing the lowest available price for an accommodation that, that would match. Now, uh, if you filter up there right below the word spot tonight and just hit RV sites, Okay. Um, it'll remove all of the others, but it's probably a good chance for us to just talk about and say that we now, as of last November, show other lodging, tent sites, glamping, um, rentals. Oh, I got you. So you have different ki types of camping as well. Exactly. So, yeah. So even yeah, even the, the RV sites are 100 of them. So that is quite an amazing yeah. thing. And look at this Pelican Pine, uh, Palms Resort for only $51 a night. And it seems like a discounted rate of, in my, in my. No, that's in Milton, Florida. I know right where that's at. And okay. uh, I mean, you're, again, you're seeing the lowest rate for an accommodation that meets your style. Now, if right. you, you know, if you drill into that or add others, there may be other discounts that apply and you might even get it uh, lower than that. So in spot tonight, which is kind of a nice unique feature, when you build your profile, another benefit of, creating a registered account. So you go to uh, try spot tonight for free. Is that where you go? Well, that's spot tonight plus, but let's, let me just kind of step you through the first part, which is just registered user. All right. You can, you're going to say, I got a 20 foot travel trailer. I need 30 amps water and sewer. And then, Oh, by the way, I have a membership in, I'm a, I'm a veteran or I'm a firefighter. Or I'm a first responder. I'm oh, a senior wow. or I'm a good Sam. Uh, FMCA, you put those in there. And if the park permits us to offer that discount rate, it will shake hands and give you the, the best rate that matches that discount. Wow. Which is great because, you know, veterans and first responders, civil, civil servants, they deserve 
to get a little bit of a benefit. They're serving our needs, right? And so it's a way for uh, not only spot tonight, but these campgrounds to give back a little bit. Yeah, yeah and if you if you remember, seems like you have something for every kind of camper and every budget that's available. We do. We try to make it so it's all encompassing, so it can can really fit and show you, hey, I, this is has everything I need right here, and here's a great rate. And just as when you're standing at the counter doing your checkout, which is, again, pretty much how I did it. I just kind of stood at my kitchen counter there and said, okay, I'm putting down all these cards. These are all my, here's my good Sam, here's my military, here's my FMCA. And the clerks go, I'm going to take that one because it gives you the best. And our logic does the same thing. It starts through that. So it really helps you fit your budget and uh, give you the best deal. Great. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, you know, I just like the way that it's not just – finding a site, not just finding a last minute site, but it's also trying to save you money on top of the already discounted rates. So it's just a brilliant, brilliant scenario. And uh, we can't thank you enough for developing this. Now, go into a little bit more detail as to the benefits to the campground for signing up for a system like yours. Oh, absolutely. So uh, on our system, basically, we're, we're now the, the uh, one of the largest uh, online travel agent, right? So we aggregate through the integrations. We mentioned the first one, and now we're up to 12 uh, integrations. We have two more we're getting ready to launch that could yield another 250 or so parks. Seems like and, I'm hearing about one almost every couple <laughs> of months. You know, you or one of your marketing people are saying, look what we're doing this month. It's just amazing. Yeah. Well, we're we're blessed. And we do have a great growth curve on this because really it takes two to tango, right? And if you think about the logic here, it's quite simple that we all, everybody in this group wants the same thing, right? Um, in fact, as a traveler, I just, I want a reservation. As a park right. owner operator, they want a reservation. As an RV dealer, they want a happy camper, right? They want someone that can buy a rig and immediately find a spot, whether they're on their way home or they're planning their summer trip. So our system, and of course the reservation systems want it. So in Spot Tonight, you talked about the benefits for the park. We bring all of those together in a, in a great relationship that lets everybody benefit from that, right? And right. It, really, it really works that well. And we are, as you said, um, not just for tonight. That was literally, I was literally hollering out names uh, on, I was on GoDaddy platform looking for a domain and uh, this <laughs> one popped up and they said sold. And so that's how we were off to the races with that name. It's I love the name. And uh, Autumn, what do you think about what, if your um, sales team offered spot tonight to their guests, to their customers. Wouldn't that be a nice resource for them? Because oftentimes they want to go camping right away, right? Yeah, and they don't even know how to go about booking a reservation. Some of our customers have never camped before in a motorhome or even at all. So that's great. You could start it out with a glamping site of some sort and then take it on on your own when you get your own rig um but as far as just finding something that's available right then and there i think this is a great great situation for the camping industry well that and that's that's exactly what we're thinking too is that um is that it, to make it so incredibly simple if i will coin the word basically the amazon shopping experience for finding an rv spot and I right. would further add to help our travelers, our travel support team, because we do have a toll free number that travelers can call and say, hey, I'm on your spot. Go easy. This is my very first time. <laughs> and, and the people that we employ there are all full time RVers. And if you if you're stuck, if your guest says, look, it's got a big black cord out. It's got a plug that looks like this. Is that 30 or 50? I guarantee you the team can help them through the through the dark night and figure out how to make it. They all actually work. know what what they're talking about. And, Absolutely. And it's about the end user. So there's going to be times when they ask questions that are not necessarily designed by the website, but they might need be able to give some advice to somebody that needs it. Yeah. And I tell you, uh, uh, some of the great quotes I get from the feedback, I had one lady uh, write in and she said, thank you so much for our travel support team for Emily. She, my, my children would have hung up on me a long time ago. <laughs> So <laughs> it was really good. And, and Emily is our travel support manager and uh, she leads her team and they're, they're there at the end of the phone uh, or on the chat box uh, through the app to help people out and make bookings. 
No, it really is all about customer service, you know, and uh, the what you can help your customer through those difficult times because nothing is perfect. Everything's constantly evolving, constantly changing, and there's always something to learn. But to have experienced people on the phone ready to answer those questions. Oh, I booked this on your site, so I need you to give me information on this campground and what it has. And, you know, now what if someone has like a really big rig? How do they handle that? And can they segregate that on the website? Oh, absolutely. Again, going back to your profile, when you sign in and build your profile, you can put in there that say, maybe I have a a Renegade uh, Valencia and I have a Super C and it's 40 plus feet long Uh, and it needs 50 amps because I want to run those double ACs and I'll put all of that in there and it'll start filtering that out through the process. So it'll show you equipment type specifics. Um, that are, this is a, this spot, because we do bring in every spot length mathematically into the app so that we can match the square peg and the round hole. You know, we don't have wow. any of that. And that, it's even uh, as detailed as which side are your slides on. Absolutely. And that's actually, it's interesting now because there are still parks that have tree limitations. And then the park owners will call us back and say, hey, we still have a, we have a problem on that slide because of the way, you know, what side they are. But uh, many of them now, I think, have gotten accustomed to the larger pads, you know, that can accommodate the big rigs. Yeah, I'm sure. Your, your customers don't have to worry about that. It's thoughtless. Absolutely. Uh, ab- absolutely. It is a uh, it, it's an extremely easy process to do the match. It's almost as if a camper had created it. So- <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for the user. But how do you folks gather all that information from each and every campground? And we do that through all of our integrations with the partners. As I said earlier, at first, I started out talking to a lot of uh, campground owners and I realized, oh, this is going to be a slow process, especially when you look at, you know, some, you know, thousands of RV parks across North America. So when we partner with a reservation system, we do we do a direct connection integration um, and we ingest all of their assets. So if the park owner, they go in when they've set up their system, they say, hey, I got spot one. It's 20 by 40. It has 50 amp water sewer and a patio, say, for instance, and a fire ring. So we put all that in there and then we use that data to build out the park profile and get the match. So that when someone that has a rig from uh, Dylan's RV there and they're driving down the road and they're looking for a match, maybe the co-pilot is in fueling. Uh, and the navigator is looking at the app and says, I think we can go about an hour longer. We need something for tonight. Boom. And it, the dog will hunt right there where you are. Or let's go on for tomorrow night at such and such because we're making better time. So we see all sorts of booking use, you know, cases on that. But again, it has to do with the fidelity of the integration and what we bring across. Um, you mentioned earlier, you know, about the other site accommodations that you saw on the screens. We yeah. do see all of those. So now we have cabins. So if you're going somewhere, I call it mission camping, where you have to be somewhere for a reunion or something, and maybe your parents are coming and they want a little cabin, you can get a cabin next to your spot and load it into your shopping cart and book it just for the days that you need the cabin. Yeah, so you have um, lodging, tent sites, the glamping. So that could be like a yearner. And then there's also other filters that you can break it down with too. Absolutely. Fantastic. Hey, you know, Autumn, you had a question earlier about um, about how the how a company like Spot Tonight makes money. You had it more eloquent than I did. So <laughs> yes, how do you what is this membership fee for a camper to join Spot Tonight? Sure. Let me take you through that. So in January at the RV Super Show, we launched because, again, so many travelers were asking about memberships because they're so used to that. We still have the kind of what I say, the pay as you go model where you pay a small uh, booking fee to use the app and to make it easy. And like one traveler told me, you know, I just gave them their Sunday afternoon back because they didn't have to spend hours looking for a spot. Um, So the membership is $59.99 and it removes all of our booking and use fees unlimited for the year. So in addition to that, the value add there is we're continuing to grow those list of features. When you sign in as a member, now not only will your search results show you what's available there, but it will also show you parks that honor your discounts 
it will show you uh, the available. If it's not available, you can do a vacancy alert on your requested or favorite park. So again, if the system, you know, someone cancels and we do refresh, it pops back and gives you an alert that say, you know, that. Wow. That's so it alerts available. like on a text or something like that. That's correct. Mm -hmm. It'll give you an alert back. So, and we're doing some partnerships with some of the different uh, fuel vendors, such as uh, the Open Roads Fuel Program. We're about ready to launch that out where we have a partnership with them. So you'll be able to do a lot of different things as we grow the um, value add on that membership. But perhaps the biggest right now, and we always show that in the shopping cart. So you'll always get an opportunity when you're booking through spottonight.com to go and buy the membership now and save right now. I mean, if you if you see that in there and you're like, hey, wow, I can save right now and then the rest of the year, so. Cool. And then um, what about campgrounds? Do they pay to be featured and listed on your site? No, absolutely not. We uh, we do all of this as a part of marketing because, again, we want their inventory in the system, right? So they work with us and we work with them and we're all traveler funded so that we help get everything together and bring it all together. And that's how it, that's how it works. Um, it's my vision down the road that more advertising will grow and and uh, then it will start, you know, to, to blossom in that regards. But, um, you know, it's all about getting everybody together in the same space to make a reservation. So you're making it real easy on the campgrounds. And, and you said you're always adding features. I noticed uh, and it was an, something that you guys mentioned uh, in a posting somewhere that you had a recent integration with road trippers. And can you tell us what the benefits to the end user would be? using road trippers. Absolutely. So as you know, and, and as you would imagine now with some 12, soon 14 integrations, we've become kind of the go-to place for RV spots and pricing and, and booking, right? So yeah. we take that information and we, through our partnerships with uh, groups such as road trippers, that now in their travel planning app, not only does it show you your route that matches maybe the height of the RV or the width of the RV or the weight crossing the small bridges. Yeah, I love that mapping system that they have. Yeah, it's beautiful. And now it will show you, hey, now we have spots along the way. So you don't have to now pause and start just calling each RV campground. You will actually be able to see that your place that it has availability. So now what I think is awesome about that is that it's bringing together you know, the true technology there of trip planning, safe travel, and available spaces to camp. That's just amazing. So that's going to integrate directly. Now, did they get a membership for road trippers when they join your app, or is it the other way around? Well, it's the other way. When they do their uh, road tripper system, they, they get access to all that data in there. Uh, oh. Yeah, so they'll have, they'll have that uh, in there. Um, and, the, and of course, Road Trippers has um, like 16 million annual viewers, along with, uh, along with our other partners. Uh, you saw the same releases for uh, Good Sam, another one of our large partners that has yeah. uh, the campgrounds listing. They're at about, um, uh, you know, 40 something, 47 million viewers as well. Um, and Reserve America, we launched that one out as well. So those are big suppliers and, and all the spots come from us. Fantastic. Um, you know, how many subscribers do you have at Spot Tonight right now? Well, we're upwards of close to, you know, 100,000 through there on the different uh, platforms and uses. So uh, you have people wow. that come in. It's kind of, I always look at, at basically the flow in through these different portals. It used to be pretty easy. I could say, oh, we have X number, but now we've got so many people coming in that uh, points, I kind of yeah. have to go to different systems and look through there. But uh, it's all a blessing. And and what's great about it, I, I tell you, is that, again, they kind of no matter where you're coming through, um, you're going to all benefit from the Spot Tonight technology. Absolutely. You know, uh, do you have something, Autumn, that uh, you'd like to ask Terry before we get going? No, I just think this is a real game changer for the whole industry. It's going to make the all of the users more accessible, the campgrounds, the campers, the dealers. Uh, everybody should be promoting this on board with this. It should almost be like the standard. Well, it seems like it already is the standard, but everybody should be 
knowing about this and utilizing this website. Time is money, and it seems like you could save a lot of time just by using Spot tonight. Absolutely. It's our, it's our goal this year to really make uh, inroads into the dealer market and the OEM manufacturing. We are um, we do have um, uh, gear going out with Alliance right now with those guys. They're putting cards in all of their units. And wow. the next part is that we want to we want to expand that. So that was kind of kind of a uh, startup and it was well received. I've had people say, hey, I got this card in my my bus. Now, what's this all about? And so we take them through the whole thing and uh, hopefully build a partner for life. And so you're exactly right. You know, dealers um, need to be able to maybe in addition to the keys you hand them, say, here's a card. Uh, maybe this is a, a, a free membership for a year to Spot Tonight Plus and uh, happy camping. Yeah. Yep. I always joke with people that we're not selling these for them to sit in your driveway and be <laughs> lawn ornaments for you. We want you to be out camping. We want you to spend that time with your family. We want you outdoors, on the road, and any way that we can help you get out there, even if it's just getting the spot tonight or connecting them or however we can do it, we want you using your RVs. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the, the, the real beauty about it is about being able to, if indeed you're someone comes to you and says, let's go somewhere tonight. Now you can pull the app out and find it. So today, so here it is Thursday, you know, again, you can go in the app and look for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. uh, and see what you have right near you. And maybe instead of sitting in your driveway, you're 25 minutes away at a beautiful park that you didn't know about before. And that's a, that's a big plus I say for the campgrounds, I always tell them, we may bring you a traveler that you never met and you're going to make a friend for life. So it's, it's the beauty of it there. It really works well. Oh, yeah, we hear all the time, you know, customers, they say, we want to go RVing, but rumor has it, or my friends told me that it's really hard to find campgrounds. Yeah. Well, they're not using the right resources. Obviously. That's it. And I yeah. love it when people do just like what you did, uh, Bernie, where you said, okay, let's look at Memorial Day. Because, you know, I see yeah, I, put, of... I, put, I put your thing to the test there. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. And and I'm serious. I mean, I'm extremely confident in it that we we work at it so hard to right. make all of that work that, like I said, that dog will hunt. I mean, it'll find that spot for you. Well, you've so. got a, an amazing team here. And and with all the new campgrounds and, and uh, integrations and collaborations, man, and you, you're starting to work with dealers now. And I think the dealer uh, it needs to take advantage of this because this is such a great resource for their RVers. Because I'll tell you, it's one of the top five reasons why people are second guessing their choice to buy an RV. Mm -hmm. And if we can eliminate that, that's just a 20% more people that would more likely buy than, than not buy and, and miss out on the enjoyment of RVing. But with this, it must mean that you're trying to grow your team to kind of fill in all these gaps and it's turning into a web of information extraction and, and regurgitation to make sure it gets out to those people. What's going on with the team at SWAT tonight? Well, we're, we are about 18 strong right now. And that includes our uh, myself and son-in-law as the CEO, COO, and co-founders, a chief uh, product officer, chief tech officer, and then the full development team. Uh, we use a full, of course, our traveler support team, our marketing team, and then our park relation team. And these are the guys um, that reach out and work with the parks that, you know, parks are now emailing in saying, hey, how do I get into spot tonight? And of course, then we do have um, uh, one contractor that actually does a lot of our map work for us, our cartography oh, uh, wow. in the app and works with some of the placements and helps bring in all of that data. Um, I mean, for instance, like last month, we brought in roughly 74 parks in a month. So they help, cool. they help us build out all of that and that's how we grow. I, um, I used the Florida RV Super Show kind of as my benchmark. I remember the first year I was there, which I think was in 20, right? Or maybe 20. We had 12 parks, and then we were like 70, and then we were like 500, and then we were over 1,000. And so it's we've had a very uh, blessed growth rate along that. Wow. So 
are there jobs open at Spot tonight right now? Do you need someone in uh, computer programming or customer relations or uh, support other support staff? Yeah, I always tell people to check our website for the postings that we have up there, uh, uh, especially full-time RVers, you know, that are looking for a, um, you know, either a full-time or a part-time gig with us there as travel support, because as we grow, it's so important that we have people that know what campers are and how to make campers work when they're on the spot. And then our dev team uh, as well, you know, for uh, for tech savvy people that know understand the different languages that we code in. Well, that's fantastic. Well, what do you think, Autumn? You think that Terry here is a true RV game changer? For sure. Yeah, absolutely. You've been doing such a great job in explaining your services today. I can't believe that, you know, more people don't know about it. Well, it's 100,000 people. It's a good amount of people there. But it's very exciting to make sure that uh, that everybody finds out about Spot Tonight and all of what you're doing. Well, thank you so much. Again, I enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all having me on here. Love doing podcasts, love talking about it, and most importantly, love meeting everybody. Come see us at the shows. All right. And Autumn, thank you for joining RV Game Changer. I'm so excited to have you on the team. And we can't. I can't wait to do many, many more podcasts with you. Have a wonderful week, everybody. But before we go, I just want to talk a little bit about we are RV Game Changer. If you have an idea, you have a concept, you have something that is beneficial to the RV industry, reach out to me at rvgamechanger.com and you can reach out to me and Autumn at Facebook at RV Game Changer, Instagram RV Game Changer, YouTube at RV Game Changer and LinkedIn RV Game Changer. We're gonna be here next week when we speak with Jeff Muffalato of Grand Design. So excited. You guys have a wonderful week and God bless.